Hello ulit sa inyo lahat. Ang topic natin today is how to use XLOOKUP to return multiple columns inside the formula. So, let's say we have a report here. We're looking only for the numbers for the finance department. And this is our lookup table. So, we have the full name, the number of employees, and then the average salary. So, this is already formatted as a table. Let's use Excel. Tab. Look up value finance, comma. Let's highlight the full column for the full name or where we can find the finance, comma. And then we highlight these two columns, close parenthesis, enter. So we're getting two, two values here, the number of employees and then the average salary. Let's say we want also to check the values to, for other department aside from finance. Say I'll just copy it from here. We, we, we're just looking for HR admin and IT. So if I copy it down, it's not going to be automatically um, populated. So what we can do is we just have to drag it down for the values to appear. So because this is not an Excel table, it's not automatically um, copied the formula all the way down. If we are looking for values that are not yet inside the table, let's say we have warehouse here, it's not going to be automatically appear until we add warehouse, let's say 2, tab, this 15,000, enters. For the formula to, to appear, we just need to copy from the previous formulas. If we are using a multiple values, let's say for the department, we're looking for five department, it might probably be better if we're going to use an Excel table to, to create this report. Let's try to look at another solution using an Excel table. This is our report here. Let's try to turn this into an Excel table by pressing Ctrl P. Click OK. I'll just take out the um, formatting. And let's try to create the same formula. Excel lookup, tab, lookup value, finance, comma, full name, comma, and then number of employees. We highlight the two columns again. So if I hit enter, we're going to have a spill error because as of the moment, Excel table cannot handle spill values. What we need to do here is we, we need to enter the values separately for each column. Equal sign, Excel. Let's choose for the finance and then let's do it one by one. Number of employees and then uh, close parenthesis, enter. If our data range is formatted as an Excel table, we are ensured that the formula that we've created at the first instance is going to be copied all the way down. We need to create another formula for the average salary. So equals Excel, finance. Let's highlight the full name here, comma, and then average salary. Then close parenthesis. Let's say there is another value here that we have created. Let's say we've created something for warehouse and then once we include that values tier warehouse, click tab, that values tier will be automatically populated in our report. That is the big advantage of an Excel table. Whenever we update our lookup table and that is something also that we would like to include in a report, formula is going to be um, automatically populated and included in our report. So thank you for watching and see you next time.